Welcome, one and all, to the first episode of The Dark Sermon. <sighs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get things. To, actually, I'm going to get some water. I'm fucking thirsty. Two Ooh, are we being left are alone with Chad? All right, guys. Hydrate check. Everyone, acquire hydrate. Why? Why are we at the bottom? Why does it have to be the apostates below everyone else? We should be at the top. We're I clearly the best. Being oppressed. I was under the impression you were in the front. She means on the the talkie talkie order. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I well, don't understand middle. either. Oh yeah. Here we go. Why, why am not? Place. Why am I not up at the top, being the biggest? Because I am most game. loved by Metharia. It's fine. Oh, okay. uh, I'm over <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Welcome, episode Ooh. one of the Dark Sermon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give the rundown whenever we get into game. And yes. these are our players, which are going to be introduced soon enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get things started. So players, please mute at this time while I do my thing. Confirmed, initiating mute. Somebody's Discord. Oh my god, whose Discord is that? That better not be mine. Hold on, let me fix that real quick. It's gonna drive me crazy. Across the continent of Corvanus, there has long since been one rule. In Metharia's light, all shall find salvation. For five centuries, the Church of Metharia, in service to the Holy One, in service to the Savior of Corvanus, banisher of darkness and bringer of light, has upheld her most holy litanies and stood as a bulwark against the shadows of darkness. However, recently there has been unrest in the light. Metheria's voice is heard seldom, if at all. And although most do not speak of it out loud, there is an uncertainty. And in this uncertainty, a lapse of faith. There are some within the continent of Corvanus that use this as an opportunity to take power that is not rightfully theirs. To usurp the might of the light. To give in to the darker powers and ultimately damn the souls of the continent. But despite these rebels or misinformed good do-gooders, or foreigners with unknown agendas, whatever they might be, the church will not falter. Its strength within the light shall be renewed. And that is where today's story shall begin. Recruitment in the Pale City has never been a problem. However, the recent rises of rebellion 
demonic sightings, and all sorts of other concerns across the continent have led to the Most Holy One to call down for more recruitment. And as such, several programs designed by the Church in order to create a fighting force has been enacted. Our story begins not on the shadows of destiny upon some misbegotten road, or of a prisoner soon to be set free, or of those seeking treasure and thrill meeting within a tavern. Today's story begins at Mass and the Holy Light of Metheria. An entire group of individuals have volunteered themselves and of themselves to give completely to Metheria, to be judged worthy to join her ranks. They will start as aspirants, and they shall end as acolytes. It is eight o'clock in the morning, nearly exactly to the minute. The bells of welcoming have finished their ringing, and bit by bit, the cathedral's halls begins to fill. The great podiums found at the center stage can be seen. High above the rafters, they overlook all, looking down upon those that would listen. Statues depicting Metheria and her various saints can also be seen, strewn all about the cathedral in its finery of gold, silver, and marble. Two great arches, complete with embroidery, featuring the many battles that Metheria fought against demonkind, of her triumphs, of her everlasting and unrelenting power. It is here, in these sanctimonious halls, that several individuals wait. A mixture of nervousness and excitement courses through them. For many of them, this is what they have been training for. For some, this is their only escape from a worse life. And for those, it is simply all they have ever known. Whichever path that has led them to this point, you all stand upon the cusp, the very cusp of acceptance into the ranks of Metherius Chosen. And as such, the individuals seated within these pews are approached by someone they've only seen in passing but never have spoken to. So for some reason this music wouldn't load, so we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to link it to you guys, and you start it when I say so. I'm uh, putting it in the notes section for you guys. All right, I'm going to play this for chat. Uh, three, two, one, play it. Adjust volume as needed. Okay. And so... This group of individuals is approached by someone that they have seen in passing, but never have they spoken to. And you see this individual stand before you. This individual you know as the Weeping Knight, one of the four chosen hands of Metheria's most holy chosen. Of them, he is known to be the more studious and the more learned. And as such, it is apropos that he gives your orientation speech.
Blessings of Metheria upon you, aspirants. Take hold of the feeling in your heart. For today is the day that you stand in the light. Look around you. Even now, the doubts of those that would stand in darkness cannot be heard in this holy place. The light fills every crevice and every corner. Like this holy cathedral, so too must your heart be filled in every crevice, in every pit, in every part. Look upon the gold, look upon the marble, look upon the greatness built for Metheria's name and know that much like the temple to her glory, so too you must build your bodies, shape your minds, and hone your spirits. You have been selected from amongst your peers to take the final trials, to stand among your would-be brethren, and to seek their approval. Know this, that despite that you might fail from this point, that in my eyes I see your light. Do not despair of the trials to come. Instead, look upon them with the same feverish devotion that you have shown thus far. Zealotry is a line that must be crossed for ascendancy, and ascendancy is the goal of all. To stand as an example to your peers while following the most perfect of them all. Now, let us recite the first litany together. Unfortunately, because Discord is awful, you guys don't actually have to recite it. But he will recite the first litany. This is important. You might want to write it down. O oh, blessed Metheria, thy first lesson to your children was a simple one. Wherever there is darkness, light must also be. Light defeats darkness. It squelches it, burns it, banishes it. When the light be bright enough, the shadows themselves are abandoned. But pay heed, for Metheria's wisdom in this litany teaches us another lesson. For no matter how bright the light that we might burn, there is always shadow. Our work is never truly done. Your journey does not end until your death. One is never done with faith. One is never complete until the end. Take heed upon this lesson. Take firm upon this. And know this first litany teaches us that light defeats darkness, but that darkness is ever present. And hold fast thy vigilance. Stand all and be seen by the light of Metheria. Raise your heads. Lift your eyes and gaze. Let it flow over you. Do not fear it, for only the guilty fear the light. Let my light be your guide. Gaze upon me and know truth as it shines within. The first to stand in the light 
is Ivy. Please introduce yourself and your character. Hello, I am Ivy, a changeling from Kalkatesh. I came over um, by mistake, and upon here, I decided to join up with the church to hunt down the other filthy fucking changelings that are giving me a bad name. Anything else? Uh, no. Other than that, I'm a wizard. The second to stand within the light is a man known as Gideon. Gideon, please introduce yourself and your character. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm Cape Fish. I will be playing uh, the, the play and touch SMR Gideon. Uh, he is a fighter uh, who lost his memories from taking a severe blow to the head and does not remember who he is or where he came from. Uh, but when the church found him they took him in and took care of him so now he's here to return that favor and uh walk in materia's light is that it that's it okay the next to stand in the light as a woman by the name of Thorn. Thorn, please introduce yourself and your character. I am Thorn Sal I am Thorn Saltspire of the Pale City. I have been raised in the light of the church since I was young, and as my parents before me, I intend to choose the light for life for all of the people, even as I find the heresy of magic in my blood, I will do my best to serve. And that is all. The next to stand within the light is Yagul Inkalad. Yagul, hello, hello. Please introduce yourself and your character. Uh, my name's Lurker. Oh, I'm playing Yagul Inkalad. This is the dwarf rogue. Yagul is on this last few years of his life. He's on a crusade of revenge against the past states who have wronged him and his family. That's pretty much it. The next to stand within the light is Michael Grace. Michael, please introduce yourself and your character. Uh, hello everyone, I am Merciless. My character is Miguel Grace. He is a green orc paladin. And um, Metheria has blessed me with strength and devotion and uh, my mom and grandmother were followers of Metheria, and uh, I now want to hunt all those who seek her demise and to execute the heretics. And the final to stand in the light is a woman by the name of Ariel Ward. Ariel, please introduce yourself and your character. Hello, I am Avoided AI, and I will be playing Ariel Vera Ward, a paladin of Metheria. Born into the faith and church, having a long family line of service, Ariel is a dutiful follower and looks forward to serving her church and the peoples of Corvanus. That is all. Thank you. couldn't resist, could you? Alrighty. As you stand within the light of Metheria, the weeping knight raises his hands and channels divine energy directly from himself into each of you. You can feel the strength of the light flow through you, testing you, Twisting through you, 
searching you. Finally, the bright light dims that you might see more easily. And the weeping knight steps forward. You have all done well in your studies, and the light has found you worthy. The next few days, you shall take your final exams. You shall face your final tests, and you shall be placed within a sect that is most suitable to your skills. After this, you shall be placed within your own phylactery, and then you shall serve the sepulchre as a squadron. From that point forward, Metharia's will will depict where you go next. And with that, the Weeping Knight will make a symbol of prayer, and then he will say, Dismissed! And as the Weeping Knight turns to leave, you can tell that each of the others, there's more than just you guys here, are getting up to leave and are walking around talking to each other and all sorts of things like that. Uh, you know that you have a few minutes uh, before you are expected to arrive to your first test. And the first test takes place <clears throat> within the Sect of the Shield, in which you will be tested in the various arcane and academic knowledge bases, depicting that of Metharia's Light, that of her people, and that of the Litanies of Mercy. So, you have a few minutes to linger around. When you're ready, I'll move time forward. That means you can roleplay a little if you want. Go on. Off you go, then. <laughs> <sighs> so... Thorn will take her holy symbol and lean against the pews, grateful to be graced with the moments of the weeping night. We'll pray that darkness be banished from the certainty of her purpose, and that her trials be overcome. Hmm. Uh, the Mika, I was going to stand up and uh, say his own prayer. Gratis ago tibi, coronium lux mitheria. And hold on to his um, Gremlin's Rosary that has the symbol of mitheria on it. And uh, just kind of walk around, sit there, and kind of keep to himself until it's time to uh, take his test. Hmm. And Thorn will catch your eye and raise a nod to that earnest prayer. And I will just continue to make notes about what was said. Uh, Gideon's gonna go over to the, uh, the arches and just inspect all the different, uh, battles that uh, Metheria has done and uh, just kind of take them in and just be in awe of <laughs> good night hmm. apologies about that church hounds are everywhere man church hounds are lively today as we must be to succeed Anyone else? Alrighty. And with that, a few moments pass quite quickly as all around you the cacophony of people continue to speak, discuss, hands are shaken, bonds are made, and rivals established. Eventually, however, the pages exit from nearby sepulchre and begin to guide you out into the courtyard beyond. You guys ready to see the cathedral? Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, hell yes. With all my heart. Hell yeah. 
And as I am perceiving, my third eye is opening. Uh, here you go. Well, I gotta zoom out here. Okay, boom, bam, bam. Oh, right, this. I wish the base setting was this off. That'd be really easy. Okay, let me know when you're loaded. Everyone loaded? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm at 98. Right. 98. I'm at 98. Now I'm loaded. Oh, there we go. <sighs> I'm loaded. I'm all set to rock. Hopefully that doesn't pong. Let me adjust this so that it looks right. Dude, this map looks so cool. There we go. It does look lovely. I'm seeing it on stream. Unfortunately, Foundry is um, playing the gray game. Oh, mm -hmm. well, just try to look at it on screen or stream, I guess. It'll, it'll pop up. All right. Well, anyway, <clears throat> you are currently located here. So the shield is located here, which you'll be heading into the main hall. And in order to take on your first, let's see. To take your final exam, you'll have to enter the lecture hall in order to pass that of the shield, in which you will be uh, tested and your training and understanding uh, within the Church of Metheria and her teachings will be established. Uh, for out-of-character mechanics and explanations, um, so there's a couple of things that I didn't tell you guys for good reason. Starting off in the church comes with several advantages. Most notably, that depending on which sect that you ultimately end up with, can give you a bunch of mechanical bonuses to your characters. So, I'm going to ask you several questions. Uh, they might seem random and they won't make sense. They won't seem like they're tied together. But they are meant to be a way to depict what your character might have done during their time here. This is basically, um, think of it like end of college. You've been here a while, you've been training, you've been learning, all that stuff. Everybody with me so far? Mm -hmm. Yep. All yep. Yes, righty. sir. There we go. Okay. So you all head inside to the Wing of the Shield sect, and it's time to take your first test. Man. You guys kick the fuck off with these maps, map makers. <laughs> Holy shit. Good yeah, job, they guys. They look <laughs> so good. <laughs> they look fantastic. Yeah. Good job, guys. Okay. Uh, one second, please. Take your time. I may have just had my entire audio box just fall off my desk. Oh, oh no. Unfortunate. I hope oh. it's okay. It, it's fine. Like, I caught it, but like, I couldn't get it reattached, so I'm just leaving it on the floor. Damn. You hate to see it happen. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll have to go back underneath and re refix it later.
hope these tests aren't written. I suck at written exams. Just take your time. I don't know about you know, but I'm weird. I don't know what about test taker. I never do good at these things. I want to swing a sword, not use the pen. All right, let me know you guys are loaded. Ninety-nine percent initiating 99. load. Okay. There's a use for everyone. Have no doubt, Mikhail. Was it? Alright, zooming in. Oh. Nice. Okay, so as you enter one of the lecture uh, lecterns in order to take your final exam for the shield uh, for the shield exams, you see that an instructor that you've seen several times, a slightly portly, very kind fellow, greets you as you enter. Well, 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 it's good to see you all again. Oh, oh, it's so joyous to me that I get to be the one to give you your final exams for the shield. Now, remember, take your time. There's no time. Well, there is time limit. You can't do it uh, into night, that is. But you have all day to finish your exam. So take your time, drink plenty of water, and if you need anything, feel free to ask me. <laughs> all right. As he looks at his um, water clock on his desk, it will be counting down. And he will say, and you may begin. All right. Nervous sweats. And so what do we do? No, I'm about to walk through it. Don't worry. Okay. All righty. It's, it's time to learn. Okay. Do, 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 do. Slowly just getting everything out of her stuff, getting it all aligned perfectly. Mikio looks around because he does not want to start his test. All right, we're going to start with you, Gideon. As you <laughs> as you begin taking your exam. Uh, let's see. Your class is fighter. All right. As you begin taking your exam, you come to a particularly difficult one. So I have a question for you. Uh huh. Which is superior? To defend an innocent life and allow an evildoer to escape, or to capture an evildoer and abandon an innocent life? Capture the evildoer. Okay. My next question for you, Gideon, is I'm going to give you a statement. Tell me if you agree or disagree with the statement. Taxing those that cannot afford it, although unpleasant, is required, for all must pay their equal due. If not, then variance will cause jealousy. Jealous me can cause dissent. Dissent causes rebellion, and rebellion causes death. Do you agree with this statement? I'll agree. Which is superior, to live a long life with no glory, or to live a short life with more glory than your peers? Mm. Short life full of glory. Ivy. Hello. 
it is time for your shield exams. Frustratingly enough, many of the shield exams deal with more emotional, philosophical approaches rather than academic ones. However, even though most of the academic ones you breeze right by, there are some that give you pause. The first question is quite simple. If knowledge contains the advances to one's own desires, then one might be able to suspend that knowledge can lead to darkness. Therefore, ignorance can also become a solve against rebellion. Do you agree with this statement? Mm, I disagree. Unless we're talking about the masses. Once again, philosophical, not academic. Frustratingly mm -hmm. so. Slams my hands down on the desk. The next question that gives you pause is one that feels closer to home. If one is foreign, one must be perpetuated to the light. However, this means that one is no longer foreign. One must abandon what they were before to stand in the light of Metheria. Do you agree with this statement? I agree. And then finally, which is superior? To live a long life with no glory or to live a short life with more glory than your peers? Long life. I mean, uh, short life, sorry. Okay. Quit copying off my paper, God. Okay, that'll do. Thorn. Yes, sir. It's time for your questions. Understood. The following is a statement you can either agree or disagree with. The stories of this world and its shared history are only useful to the world when peered through the filter of Metheria's light. Stories of shadows, stories of false light are not acceptable. Agreed. Which is superior? To live well and have much wealth, but to be without the light of Metheria, or to have nothing, to be starving in the street and be filled with her light? To be filled with her light is the only way forward. Simple questions, simple answers. All right. Your next one is... Here. 
While it is true that magic is the purview of Metheria's light and belongs to no other, is the magic of the world also considered to be evil? We yes. finally found a hard one. Yes or no? Is there a different? The world's magic is hers. So, it is not. Mikhail! Yes? And it's time for your exams. The first is simple. Which, well, first one, the first one that you have difficulty with is which is superior, to die for Metheria or to die for your brother on the line? To die for the Metheria. Do you agree with this statement? While an apostate must be destroyed for the protection of all, and one must also ensure that the body be burned, it is better to give them a quick death so that they may not suffer. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Our apostates are against Matharia. They should have a horrible death. I do not agree. Do you agree with this statement? In order to serve Metheria, you must abandon what you were before. I agree, we are all reborn in Metharia's light. The ghoul, you are next. All right. Which is superior? To live a life well with many riches or to live poor and starving but have the light of Metheria? Poor and starving with the light of Metheria. Which is superior? To live a long life with no glory, or to live a short life with more glory than your peers? A short life, glory. Which is, which is superior, bonds of family or bonds of faith? Uh, bonds of faith. Ariel Ward. Aye, sir. Which is superior, to die for a brother in arms or to die for Metheria? 
to die in Matheria's service. Apostates must be burned. It is the only way that they can be destroyed and their demonic taint prevented. However, it is better to give them a quick death first. Do you agree with this statement? Yes. And finally, which is superior, to live a long life with no glory, or to live a short life with more glory than your peers? I need no glory in the service of Metheria. I would rather serve her long. And as each of your quills are placed to the ground and your papers turned sideways, the porter will give a clap. <laughs> Excellent job, each of you. Oh, I could see your mind sharpen with each flick of the quill. <laughs> please, please turn your papers in here and then report yourselves to the sepulcher. Your blessings will be awaiting you. I hand off the paper. Oh, Ivy, I'm going to miss your questions. And I will miss your answers. Gideon! It seems you remembered to spell your name correctly this time. Yeah, it, I'm still working on that. Thank you, sir. You are most welcome, my boy. Oh, Thorn, I always like reading your papers. Your handwriting is so violent. And I will miss seeing you once more, but know that I will be on a path to glory. Thank you for all that you've taught me and your help in raising me. All right. <laughs> I hand him my paper. All right, the orc shoves the dwarf out of the way. <laughs> And oh. places the paper down the table. Okay. Oh, Fine. Mikhail! <laughs> I'm going to miss such a tall man to help me reach the shelves! You're welcome. And uh, your teachings I don't all agree with, but thank you for giving me lessons anyway. You're most welcome! Uh, stands on his toes to reach over. Hello there, Yagul! Well, 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 I expected to see you've done so quickly. You've always been quite sharp. Be sure to Thank put that you. mind to good use. Oh, and, um, thanks again for that ale suggestion. The wife oh, is very no happy. Oh, 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 oh. pull out a bowler hat and just slid it over. A, press, a token of my gratitude, instructor. You give him your bowler hat? Yep. My, my, I, well, a bowler hat. A bowler hat. Oh, not my oh, bowler hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll put this in my gift tray and he'll open a drawer and he'll throw it in there with all the other ones. He never takes anything I give him. <laughs> rumble, grumble, grumble, rumble, rumble, grumble. Where are you, sir? <sighs> Greetings, Ariel. So astute as always. And once again, top marks I can already see. Starts to look through the paper. Oh, keep an eye on them, would you? I'll do what I can, sir. I'm going to miss you all so very much. And we you. Fare thee well, and go in Metheria's light. Oh, 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 Go ahead, group up here. I'll take you to where the sepulcher is. All oh, these fucking tall okay. people shoving me inside. How dare they? Get over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry that they're hitting you. Just because I'm short, I never look so down. Cute. 
I love oh, it. Do plenty, but I suppose I can see where that issue may lie. Me. I do apologize sometimes. Score, Ariel. No, no, that's fine. Seems like you've made your own line. I, I didn't. I don't always see you. You're very short. Should I at least be able to see the hat. Stands tall. Hmm? Oh no, nothing. You are forgiven. Okay. okay. Thank you for your grace. Oh my god. You were saying something, miss? Alright, as you all seem to wandle your way over to the um to the sepulchre, you will see oh, this waity uh waity, a lady awaiting you. A brief stint of fear flows through you as you gaze upon who will be giving you your blessing. It is without a doubt the most studious and unrelenting, unforgiving of Metheria's instructors. Instructor Tunt. Hot. God. Oh, shit, she has the switch. She oh, has her PTSD activated. Mm-hmm. Would you like to go first, big man? All right, all of you, come here now. Go on now. Metheria's waiting. Don't step in the circle, girl. Now then, I've been informed that you have passed your exams and that you have stood in the light of Metheria and you have been found acceptable. So now we shall see which of you are worthy of the blessing of the shield. Waddle waddle till the very next day. Stand within it. One at a time. Form a line. You do know how to form lines, don't you? You're standing way too close to me. Better. No, no, you... Stay in the circle. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh. The first one to stand in is Ivy. Uh, right, let's see here. As you stand within the circle, you will see that it's light. You guys see the light effect, right? Like the, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. You will see that the, the yeah, see that the light kind of flows over you. Hmm. 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 Unworthy! Back of the line! Next! Oh! <laughs> you actually got edgier stepping into this circle. <laughs> I, I do like it's this light effect. I need to... Me. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Come. Mm. Mm. No, unworthy. Back of the line. Huh. Unworthy. You didn't give me the chance to stand. Oh, God. Mm. 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 Back of the line. Appointment. Very well. You are worthy of the shield's blessing. Smack. Thank you, ma'am. Ah. Slap of the ruler. Do you feel it? Sorry. Sure. It's not working! Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ma and light will suddenly surge through you. <sighs> Hold on. The beast the the ship ship of the light improves. All right, Perhaps and light will suddenly surge through you. 
Well, that's right. That, that, that. Elsewhere. <clears throat> Wait a minute. That isn't. That isn't light. What the? Hold on. I said <laughs> light suddenly surged through her. This fucking game. Hold on. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Have you tried putting it in rice? <laughs> Clearly, this instructor is just not. I capable. said light suddenly shone through. There we go. There you go. Mm. Uh, okay. Firmly grasp it. Alrighty. Listen up, chuckling fuck. I've got some good news for you. It's time for the blessing of the shield. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Let's yeah. see, you are a paladin, yes? Yes. Alright, let me go review your answers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-
Holy. I will now describe, uh, let's see, what those effects are. Hold on. Can you Better the... to burn bright than to burn long. Let's see. Any chance? Oh, uh, my there? apologies. I, I knew that was I knew that was wrong. It's a minute plus one round equal to your character level. Ah. Uh, so. Okay. But in either case, you do still get, take three levels of exhaustion when it's done. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. It's still a yes. dangerous thing to use. Okay. Let's see what the shield. We will protect one. you. Uh, let me get the shield one. I'm so excited. I'm gonna climb up. When I should let Mikhail also Hold on. try. Understood. I'm, I'm working. I'm working on this. Oh, that, that's sure. fine. You're fine. Making sure this is correct. Uppies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Uppies. What did you say, no. <laughs> I'm on your shoulder. No, no, no! Get, get off my shoulder! Uh, Hold on, you're a paladin, right? We're just peering off. around him. Okay. What do you want? Why are you standing so close to me? What did, back back up. What, what are you doing? No. We're you looking. shouldn't be afraid. I, I don't I like my personal space. Especially oh, from... Um, don't step in the circle. Oh, I All I right. Know, I I... Are you ready? Aye, sir. During Lesser Apotheosis, Metharian of the Shield, you gain 10 temporary hit points every round. This is not stacked with itself. Uh, all allies within 10 feet of you take less damage from any source equal to your charisma modifier. And you are immune to fear. Ooh. That's cool. Understood. Very nice. Oh, hold on. I'm jazz handing. I was gonna say, can you post those in the... Nope. I've been writing down notes. I got it. I try to do a shorthand, so feel free to help. I was asking Arcadum. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Sorry. Thank you. Dude, she's so... I have to say though, Taunt has a... She's got a dump trunk. You didn't have to. Wow. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, she's, she's caked up back there. I trust those um, yourself? Yes. <laughs> We are in the presence of the church. What is wrong with you? Hey, listen. You're, you you don't tell me you didn't notice it, too. There you go. No, I have respect, yeah. unlike you recording, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. You bring this up right as... All right. And so oh, you goodness. are worthy. <laughs> Get out of the circle. Yes, ma'am. Next! Absolutely not! Uh, yes. Goodness. All that right. seems to be all of you. Good. My work is done. You are to report to the Cathedral of the Eye. Yes, yes ma'am. Right now. Yes, ma'am. Warm up and did Mikael go? I, uh, or did he not? Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just went. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> no. I got a half a foot in and she smacked me and told me to leave. <laughs> it's the same. Damn. Maybe she heard us. Maybe she did. Uh, Honestly, it was... The, <laughs> Mikael was not subtle about what we were talking about. 
No, he was not. Mm. All right. You're the one who was looking at her bum. I was looking at it respectfully. So, Do not blame me for your eyes. And so, you leave the main hall of the uh, shield, and you move towards the center, back up to the main cathedral. You cross the trading hall, and into that of the eye of Mytheria. <sighs> Man, they did just a great job on this, dude. dude yeah, looks, the pressure is mounting, exquisite. and this is all. Oh. And I'm living for the music yes, as well. Yeah. I like I like the layout, each one representing mm -hmm. the, the yes. different aspects. That's so yeah. Good. And then you got the Pope hat mm -hmm. up top. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the eye is Sauron. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I will say though, the Peter Jackson movies music is just, just delicious. Mm -hmm. Now we just need a volcano somewhere. Like I will think about that on my deathbed at some point. Oh, Matt, Very why, good. why must you torment me, Matt? Why? Hold on. Ooh. Oh, hold on! Hey. Don't look at this. Don't look at that. <gasps> not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Looking away. Is it? Is the top of this missing? Looks like the actual eye is missing. Maybe. Matt, if you're there, uh, where's the actual, the top of the eye? I don't think it's in this lineup, or is it just named as something else? Because I see the wing. I see the. Is it wings? No, that's the shield. That's the sword. I don't see the eye in here. Uh, one moment, please. Oh, okay, it's this one. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's named the wrong thing. Okay, <laughs> all right. What was it named? Barracks. I... <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm, I'm docking the map maker's pay. No, no, it's fine. Good. No, 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 no. I'm docking their pack. That's, that's unacceptable. How dare they? That, that's what got, that's what does it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you have such weird priorities. Yeah. Wait, what the? I, 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 I dock the mod, the mod make, the, the mods all the time because they're not doing their jobs. All right. Hold on. How big are you guys here? Okay, hold on. I need to fix that. That's a big potted plant. Holy shit. Ooh, <laughs> big, I big. love <laughs> Love some good foliage. Mm -hmm. You know? Nope. Still too small. <laughs> One moment, please. I have to un Alice in Wonderland everyone real quick. Now remember everyone, make sure to take sips, not chug your drink knees. No no no. We only chug here. Chug, chug, chug. Loading. Uh, that'll work. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for loading. someone to giggle maniacally and be like, but what about the eat me's? Oh no, nibbles, nibbles only. Did I? I may have forgot to do that. I thought they did it automatically. I can agree with no sip only chug, but if you're going to insist on chugging, that just means that we're going to have to give you a smaller bottle. I am chilling at a gray screen currently. And well, we're we're on the noble map one. He's got to bring us some of us there. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm on the black screen. The black. Yeah, that, yeah, screen. we're in the we're in the noble house or the noble main uh, one. Yeah, he has to move he's us to the new oh, I'm map. Ship is trying to I'm trying do to things. Go here. Good. That's fine. And then go here. And now you should be coming to the right one. Yeah. Uh, you guys loaded? Is it loading? Is everything alright? Uh, 99%. Okay. Yeah. I'm still at a gray screen. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I can, I, see on stream. I can see it on stream, so. Yeah, I can see it on stream. I'm also so. watching stream. Yep. Same here. Okay. So feel free to begin. Alright. Alright, I'm in. Okay, here we go. And so, as the party makes their way 
to the halls of the eye. You come to yet another statue of Mytheria looking over everyone. Uh, this one specifically represents her weeping state. And then finally, you appear at the lecterns. And your instructor, who stands on a crate in order to be able to even see you, as you see this little guy. Aw, look at him. Okay, that's cute. Mm-hmm. A fellow that understands my problems. All right. And you will see instructor Luppy jump up on top of a crate and kind of give you the same smile that he's given at all of his classes. Always making you think that he's maybe telling you a tall tale just to get you to laugh. But out of all the instructors, he's always been the most heartfelt. The most understanding of anyone's plight or struggle. And now, he will hop up, and in the same jokey way... Oh, I see! So, uh, you had to choose me second, huh? <laughs> Ah, oh, welcome to your final exam of the eye. Now, I'm not going to bore you like this shield. I'm just going to give it to you straight, all right? It's pretty simple, really. Uh, you'll see in front of you that I've placed a sphere of glass. Final exam's pretty simple. Look into the sphere, and you tell me what you see. Try to think of the worst thing that's ever happened to you. Look into it, and you just tell me what you see. Uh, let's start with, uh, hmm, you. Uh, would you point to me? Yeah, yes. You're very smart. You, or oh, oh, okay. Uh, is it, is the eye about you, or is it in front of me? What? It's the, it's the... There's, it's in front of you. It's a little orb of glass. Do you not see it? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, I, I don't normally look down. Oh, I can already uh, see this is going to be a struggle. Just put your hands on it. Look at it. Think of the worst thing that's ever happened to you. And then tell me what you see. Uh, I, don't, I don't see anything. Hmm. Okay. What about you, Blondie? Uh, my name is Gideon. Just look at the orb. Okay. Uh, let's see, what would he see? Um, I, I just see myself sitting alone, sitting alone at the dining table. Huh. All right. All right, what do you see? Points at Ivy. Uh, she kind of takes a deep breath, kind of calming her thoughts, grabs the orb. And as she kind of sits there and thinks, she sees the fear in her mother's eyes as the people who once called us friend uh, hunted her down and killed her almost in front of her before Ivy took off running. Hmm. All right. Dramatic. I like it. What about you, Yaggle? Uh, I see one of a hurricane slaughtered in front of me, bloodied, lifeless. Wow. Brutal. What about you, Sunshine? You're making me relive this again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Sorry. we take the orb and we see the holy halls covered in blood and bl broken glass as she sees the monster's magic coming out of herself. As she discovered her bardic magic. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You All already right. knew that. And you in the back. 
Ariel will stare at the orb pensively before picking it up with one hand, staring at it haunted and trembling before setting it down. And she'll just look back up and say, my duty fulfilled. Huh. All right. That was vague. All right. Well, let us recite the second litany. And he will stand up. <clears throat> let us remember that in the might of Ethereus' light, her might was guided, tempered by her wisdom. But remember that even the wisdom of Mytheria is not at its utmost usefulness when viewed alone. There is wisdom in all and wisdom in many. But be warned that there is a great lie in wisdom. For the apostate, the liar, the devilrer, the evil, can use that wisdom against you. It can be used for insipid tactics, be used for terrible crimes, for no greater harm has ever been done that was not done with good intention. All right, and with that, the instructor will then look at each of you. And now for your test. He claps his hands, and all of the orbs no longer are lit. You, Hugo. Yes. You are not to speak. Whoops. Michael, tell me. Yes, sir. What was on his orb? Uh, I don't know. I have zoned out after mm -hmm. still looking at the glass. I don't understand what I'm doing mm -hmm. wrong. I see mm -hmm. nothing but the glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You. Yes. What was on his orb? There was people getting massacred. That's it? There was more detail, but I'm a bit fuzzy on that. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. And you, I'm not even going to ask you. So, the lesson was to pay attention. Look around you. Each one of you was so absorbed by your own thoughts that you missed the inclinations of others around you. You cannot hope to discern truth from the noise of this world if you remain narrow-minded, if your eyes are tunneled in their vision. You most certainly will be unable to capture an apostate if you are unable to see with the eye that cannot see, if you are not able to listen while hearing, to see with your eyes open and closed. Well, that's it. I'll make my reports to my fellow. Report to the sepulcher. And we'll see if any of you are worthy of a blessing. Thank you, instructor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, instructor. I will try to do better to mm -hmm. remember. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey! Do as I said. Oh, 
Alrighty. Time to go to the sepulcher. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh god. Man. That was so sad because I, I I remembered. I know me too. <laughs> uh, did you all to work? What did you do? I don't mine did not work for me. I did I don't get it. Did did, did you not think of what was really the most troubling of your past? It, uh, I don't think of that much. Well, yeah, I mean, so I, no. I, I, okay, well, you had to think of it and, and then kind of push those thoughts into the orb and then you could see things. Ah, uh, that's why I don't, I only look forward. Yeah, you don't look down at all either. Right. An interesting perspective, um, the uh, no. clarity. Pat you on the lower back. You'll, you'll, you'll get him, champ. Why are you touching me? Don't. All right. And as you walk into the sepulcher of the eye, which is not only a place where the eye use their magic detection abilities and train, but it is also the central point of teleportation for the intricate network of the Metharian churches and their shrines. And it is here that you see this. Hey. As you walk out into the sepulcher, you are greeted by someone that you did not expect. There are many instructors uh, that you have encountered, but you did not expect anyone higher ranked than them to actually deal with you personally. And oh. one such individual that approaches you is an old man that many of you may have not have really interacted with that much, but you know that he is one of the most respected members of the cathedral, and he approaches you with a smile on his face, and you see this guy. Ooh. Boom. Dude, I love him. And as he approaches... <clears throat> Looks like you're stuck with me. <laughs> well, hello there, Spirits. I know you're trying to get to be Angolites, and I don't got the reports from that there instructor. Uh, S Sully? T Tully, his handwriting is awful. Well, in either case, time to see if any of y'all's worth the blessing. <laughs> oh, apologies. Well, come on then. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna help him along. Oh, thank you, dear. Uh, oh dear. There appear to be duplicates. Why are there duplicates? Duplicates where? Down at the Down bottom. bottom. Hello. <laughs> I have too many tokens. Stop! Stop! Stopping. There. Now they're all no. dead. Alright, cool. No, I died. One. <laughs> Alrighty. It's time to see if you're worthy of a blessing. Well, come on now, don't be shy. Yeah, let's get this over with. Nope. Hey, yes. <laughs> Some adjustments need to be made. He'll start feeling out with his hands to touch your face and adjust your hat. <coughs> no, no, I don't like that. No, no, no. Needs to be, needs to be a bit bigger. There we go. That's no. better. Stand up straight, girl. Let the light see you. You know what? I think you're worthy of the blessing of the eye. He got quite the studious marks. Extra credit. <laughs> you remind me of a young me. Except with the horrifying war wounds. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. I did have great instructors here. Uh, all right. 
Let's get your blessing over with. All right, he'll put his hands in front of him, and he'll literally do the ninja signs, and then put it out in front of him. Oh my god, he's doing Naruto hand signs? No. Naruto. Oh. Yes. Yes. Anyway, he will do cool ass signs with his hands. Oh my god. And he, what? That's how they cast, and he will put it on. I love it. It's so good. Okay, here we go. Does that mean that he has Sharingan underneath his... I swear to God. <laughs> is that why they're, is that I, why they're covered? I will I hurt you. I swear to No. no. Goddess, yes. It that would have to so... be the uh, Byakugan because they can see stuff. I'm going oh, to no. kill everyone. <laughs> I'm going to start shit. I'm sorry. He's going to set us some permanent flames. God forbid I make a joke. Fucking God. We gotta watch out for right? Donzo, then he might God try to steal his I eyes. Commentary. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Restart the timer. You are given. <gasps> uh, lesser Metharian Apotheosis of the Eye. As <gasps> for the wizard. <gasps> Alright, let me get all this stuff done here. Ooh. Too bad I'll never be able to use it. Why? That's true. Because I will <laughs> die when I hit 10. It's <laughs> a little true. Well, you don't know the details? Calm down. So, hashtag word. You did say you wanted a short life full of glory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Oh, Got him. Okay. Actually, I can't give you that feat. That's right, because you're a fucking changeling. Hold on. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Filthy changeling. Uh -oh. I can give you... My dear pun, the inspector is working. Well, I mean, I can get an upgraded collar later. Hold on, I have to look up what you get. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. You are given three Metheria spells. I will grant those to you at this time. Do you want Do you want them to be first level, or do you want them to be higher level than that? You won't be able to cast them if they're higher level, but you'll have access oh, to them. Oh, no choices. Oh. Um, you can choose up to third level. Play the long oh game. Oh my god. Play the long game, do it. Oh, Just pick I one want of each level. I, um, yeah, I want I want I want the higher level spells, not a level three. So level three? Uh yeah, I get well, three spells I can choose like three third level, first level, and second level. You can choose all three if you like third level if you want. You just won't be able to cast them. Yeah. Um. I have an idea. We will let the fates decide, and Mithari will guide me on this. Okay. First, second, and third level. First, second, third. You got it. Ugh, okay. But let's make some magic. Yay. Oh, you also get a cantrip. Hold on, let me get you the cantrip, too. <gasps> oh. Oh, man, yeah, more so spells happy. I have to make. Yeah. I will make the spells. You fuck up. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Just put them in the right fucking spot. It's a last. Be nice. I will. Okay. That also isn't even the right spot. All right. The cantrip you get is light spear. I'll just have you post it in notes. Yeah, I'm gonna post it all, don't worry. <laughs> okay. It's sacred Freem. It is not Sacred Flom. <laughs> that would be great. That was hilarious.
I get spells. You said first, second, third, yeah? Yep. Okay. I'm so excited. I love how they just delete the, the interactions. Oh, do it not in notes. If you do it in notes, it makes it really hard to go back and read stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do that there you want, yeah. So this is going to be written in my shorthand, but you'll figure it out. Yeah, I, yep. I, I'll make it work. All right. If not, I will annoy you later. Uh, okay, let's roll for this one. Right. Can I add nine to that? No. No. Here you go. I gotta get a new keyboard, man. This thing is double tapping keys and is eating ass. It's not good. Oh, no. needs a new spell. I wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. It is good to have a positive outlook. Here you go! Mm. Oh, I, I'll read these off for chat, too. First up is Light Spear. This works just like Eldritch Blast, except it does radiant damage instead of force damage. Uh, let's see. The first level spell oh is Gift of Grace. It's a reaction. You may grant an ally, not you, the Shield of Faith spell. This has a 30-foot range. Let's see. Otherwise, it acts just like the Shield of Faith spell. Um, next is the second level spell, Dawn Burst. This acts as Burning Hands. Except it deals radiant damage and heals the caster one hit point per each target that it has damaged. Ooh. And then finally, the third is Apostate's Bane. This acts as a counterspell, like the spell counterspell, except that it heals you when you successfully use it equal to your current hallowed exposure. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. really good. Yes. All right, and that is what you were granted by the blessing of Etheria. Is some Etherian spells. Yay. Next, please. I don't think I could be double blessed, but 
All right. Oh, you seem to be blessed by the shield already. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but you only have one blessing slot that you can. No, he's just. <laughs> That's what I thought, sir. One moment. Not I'm opinion. afraid you'll have to remove that blessing in order to get another one. Oh no, mm -hmm. you're far too dumb for this one. Uh, uh, oh. no, I'm just kidding. He, he, he just goes, Oh <laughs> no, my friend, I'm sorry. I don't think any of our blessings are quite of your, um, alleyway. I, I don't have alleyways. No, thank you. Okay, good good day, sir. I don't give a bow. <laughs> what a good lad. I'm sorry. Finally! A man thing. with a proper hat! Yes, you certainly are worthy of a blessing. Ooh. I don't know what that was. Don't, don't worry about it. It was, it was the Sharon Con. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotary phone. Alrighty. Your blessing from Etheria Yavol. Let's see. Let me look at your stuff real quick. I'm reading, hold on. Okay. As the light shines over you, you will suddenly see, Yago, that a weapon is conjured in the attester's hands. He will then hand it to you. It appears to be a very almost wicked-looking dagger if it wasn't covered with the vestiges of Metheria. Specifically, the handle is inlaid with Metheria's form etched into the carven wood, and her tears, like sapphires inlaid with dust, drip down from her eyes through their body and onto the blade in a sort of blue pattern across the steel. The attester will hand you a masterwork dagger. <sighs> Nice. And I will type that up for you now. Oh, that's right. You're a dwarf, so you'd also know what the properties mean, too. That works for me. Oh, let's go.
Alrighty, buddy, here you go. Inquisitor's Blade. This is a Masterwork Ooh. Dagger. It's Tier 2. It has the Hollow property and the Anointed property. Hollow means you may store up to three doses of poison. It applies on hit, and it is refilled as an action, unless you have things that affect Poisoner Kit actions, in which case it can be refilled faster. Um, anointed bypasses the defenses of evil creatures that require magic weapons. Ooh. Without the weapon being magic. A fine blessing indeed, an inquisitor's blade. Well, it seems that the light has plans for you, Mr. Incala. I suggest that you do not let Mytheria down. Are you muted? Simply starstruck by your blessing. He's lost of words. This must be a great blessing for him, so he's he's not talking. Lur Lurker. He must. Oh. <laughs> Since we have similar likings, uh, I will offer you one of my hats. Oh, no, no, no. I'm far too old to wear a hat. Come. Even the old must wear one. No hats are for younger <laughs> men. For it brings joy to one's life. No, I couldn't possibly. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you, however. Go in Metharia's light, my friend. Yes, you too. All right, who's next? All right. So we come to stand to attention in front of him. Well, 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 sorry. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was just me. Um, well then. Been a long time since I've seen a salt spire. Well. It's good to see you following in your parents' footsteps. But are you worthy of a blessing from the eye, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. His words hit deep. Hmm. 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 Yes. <sighs> Truly. All right. What are you about? Okay. Let's see here. Ariel, how heavy is your shield? To be fair, I have never weighed it. Grace has always been formidable. Do you have a shield? Oh. I see nothing there. May you be talking of a figurative one? No. Um, it's left within the armory. Oh. I see her walking around with it sometimes. I wanted to ask her. I see. Okay. It is good exercise. Let me give that the old check. Let's see. Yes. Muscles. It's good it, to it sweat for the glory to... of Matheria. It looks heavy enough to break an apostate skull. So it is heavy enough. Yes. That's what is important. Ariel will just keep her eyes kind of closed and just 
more focus on whatever is going to become a thorn. Alrighty then. A necklace will be summoned and will be handled, handed it towards you. Ah. We'll take it with great care. It seems the blessings of Mytheria have gifted you with an amulet of seeking. Very interesting. A seeker's amulet is a potent magical item literally endowed with the light of Mytheria. Use it very cautiously, however, for to use it is to expose yourself as an agent of the church, and there will be those, heathenous or misguided, that would seek to interfere with your endeavors. Alrighty. And let me type that out for you. I am glad. At least um, two. Maybe three. We'll see when she leaves. Very cool things. Very cool. This way. Three what? what? Does define evil? Do I define evil? Or does the blade judge evil for me? I guess through uses you will find out. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But if you are to judge, you need to keep your conviction in check. Make sure you're willing to make the right calls. Seeker's Amulet. Once per short rest for one minute when activated, it grants a greater sensitivity to magic. During this time, you are considered to be detecting magic. So it works like detect magic on an item. Hmm. Very well. <clears throat> this will be important. I will take care of it then. Thank you, Testor. Oh, I, <laughs> Testor is my, my title. I, I'm Mordecai. You know this. At least I think it okay. is. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a portable GSR test. In either case, do well with that, girl. You'll make a fine seeker one day. And so it shall be. Hmm. No, it is Mordecai. Is that my last name or first name? No. Sure, surely it seems it's to require a helpful item to help you. Anyone else? I believe that's everyone. No takers. Oh, good. Nickel. Well then, you should report to the Cathedral of the Sword. So sword. Swarm. Sword. Yes, sword. Go there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss that old man. Alright, you, you, guys ready, you guys ready for sword time? Hell yes! Mm. Hell yeah! <laughs> sword, 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 my diamond sword, sword, sword. Um, I have one question about the spells. What's up? The gift of grace as the reaction, is it the same as Shield of Faith in the fact that it is persistent as a concentration? Or is it just like more it, like it, shield? It, acts like, it like... acts like shield of faith. So when you use it, okay. it, it takes up. It, it becomes shield of faith. Okay, gotcha. So that means if it has concentration, it's concentration. If it has duration, yep. and all that stuff. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because it was the whole reaction thing. Okay, so you guys exit the cathedral of the eye and head into the cathedral of the sword of Mytheria. Testors, eat my ass! Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. I, I hope we meet a certain knight that is very happy looking. Because that would be cool. Um, I thought that individual was deployed. Did not know this was out of character. Oh my god. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> Why 
Minus one RP. Minus one. Oh man, they even lit the candles. Fucking what a bunch of badasses. You guys see this? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is glorious. All right. And so you enter the Cathedral of the Sword and set out to be tested. But although all the other places you've been to has been a test of quill and wit and knowledge, that will not be the way that you are tested here. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's smell the oils used on the swords. There we go. Now they're all in the folders like you wanted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. As you enter a place of training and instruction, you can see that there are warriors practicing the blade, prepping their shields, firing their arrows, and all sorts of things. And then finally, the instructor walks towards you. A tall and impressive looking orc woman stands ready to give you instruction. And you see this lady. Hi. She looks awesome. She looks Ugh, boring. Fantastic. Here we go. She will walk up. So, you ought to be the ones I am to train, huh? Come on. Come on, don't be shy. It's pretty simple. All I want you to do is strike your target. Pick a target and let me see you strike it. Come on. Oh. Show me what you've got. Do we need a weapon for this? Too many questions. You're being attacked by an apostate. What do you do? I pull out my new fish. shiny dagger and I strike with it. Hmm. Here. Oh, not bad. Instructor Mama will watch <laughs> each individual. <laughs> will watch each individual uh, attack or uh, struggle with attacking their target. Was not good. It would seem that there is a mixture of either kind of half-hearted strikes, perhaps overthinking of how to attack, or perhaps just straight-up incompetence. Instructor Mamo, however, is. Unjudging. Oh, I'm gonna get white girl wasted. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I dropped my board. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, okay. And we're never drinking at the gym again. Oh, All right. <laughs> oh, <God>. Wow. <laughs> so good. Oh, shit. Okay. As I was saying, many of you demonstrate either an, a, a certain lack of ferocity in your strikes or an overthinking of your attack strategy. Two of you, however, go into the rhythmic natural motion of battle. Gideon and Mikael strike at their targets with precision, strength, and a cold ferocity, constantly searching for more targets. Their training definitely showing. That's enough. That's enough. Come here. Well, the good news 
news is, is that none of you fail. You at least were able to hit your target in the end. Some of you, however, I do not believe are suited to the warrior's life. The Sword of Metheria may not be the place for you. But, you two, you two certainly show promise. But it is not my authority to do such a thing. It seems that you'll have to stand before the boy. She'll look kind of disgruntled. Of course, it should have been me that had become the proctor to see your blessing and give it to you. But it seems that I am unworthy, apparently. In either case, they are waiting for you. Go on now, in the mage's room. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for in helping the, uh, me with my training. You'll find it at the top of the stairs, where the trophies are stored. This way. Go on. I think, I think you are worthy. I thank you for your training. Thank you, Instructor Mama. You are most thank welcome, you. Gideon. I hope that you remember who you are one day. Uh, it matters not who I was, just what I am now. True. And what you are is late. Yes. Thank you. Ooh, my sights hurt. All right. And here we go. You see these two standing before you. The Weeping Knight says nothing and gestures for the stranger to continue. And he will approach. <clears throat> Uh, greetings and salutations to you. Uh, my name is Kylo Scepter, and I'll be giving you your blessing of Metherius Sword. <clears throat> uh, if if you're worthy, Nodders. <laughs> well, um, I thought we might stand here in deeds of remembered past. I oftentimes find myself standing before the glories of Mytheria, but I don't think, and this is no disrespect, mind you, it is not of only her light that I think, but rather who she was when she was mortal. The third litany, if you remember, states on the importance of might. That might is right, and only the righteous can have it. It is important that we remember that the might of Mytheria is one conjured within herself, one that each of us possess within each other. Some choose to use their might to further evil ways. Some choose it to benefit themselves, but make no mistake. Anyone can be kind when it means something to them, when they get something out of it. Only the truly mighty can be truly kind, for they need nothing in return. This is a lesson that you must remember, that what you use your might for is for the good of all, the righteousness of all. There will be those that do not understand. They will think that because the sword must take life, that it is somehow evil, something to be disdained or feared. Our lives, devoid of Metheria, are only filled with death. Look around you. When you go beyond the city, and hallowed walls of the pale city, you see it. 
Animals kill animals for food, yes. But people kill people for sport and convenience. No one walks this road unarmed if they are wise. They think that it is different because we know who the enemy is, even if they cannot see it. The truth is as clear to me as the dark of my eyes. When I lost my sight, I thought I was abandoned by Metheria. But it is within that darkness I saw truth, the inner light. And I trained to become a warrior of her grace. And now I stand before you to think on these things. The might of the self must be tempered in righteousness. And that only the truly mighty can become kind. For kindness derives from giving without receiving. And only those of such strength can truly do this. Place your hands upon her statue. My blessing, it is not mine to give. It is only hers. All right. As each of you move towards the statue, a uh, hold shift while dragging yourself if you don't want to go on the squares. Um, as you move out and place your hand on the statue, you will feel the light of Metheria surge through you. For most of you, the light is a reminder to use the skills and talents that you've been given for good. But in Mikhail and Gideon, the shining symbol of the sword shall appear around them. Wordlessly, the weeping knight will approach and hand you each a pendant, one representative of your office. You are now of the sect of the sword. And the sword represents might. And the light of Metheria guards itself within you. And while you are reflecting, the weeping knight gives out the badges to all of those that are present. An eye for ivy. An eye for thorn. An eye for Yagul. And a shield. Or Ariel. Gideon, Mikhail, you are granted access to an advanced fighting style. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> so please tell me your weapon of choice. Great sword. <clears throat> uh, great sword for me as well. Wow. Imagine wow. that. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, there's only one Metharian great sword fighting style, so that's easy. Hell yep. Hell yeah. These are the basic bitches of the group. We love them dearly. Sometimes the simple solution is the best solution. Okay. Let's go, the himbo duo. I walk over to Kate and offer to give him a warrior's greeting. Gideon. The forearm grab. Who is this Kate you speak of? Uh, Gideon. I walked over to Gideon and gave, uh, looked to give him the f uh, warrior's greeting. My brother in arms, we shall serve Matheria. We, we shall. I go to slap your forearm. Like the forearm grasp, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm the warrior handshake, yeah. Yes. Give me that athletics check, brother. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Only got a 10, Sedge. He forgets that he doesn't have good rolls. Oh, oh no. Uh, this is... They're, they're no. so awkward. The ship is real. The I, ship is sailing. I, I tip my hat to just not look at them. The bro romance is real over there. Are they blushing? 
I Seems like tell. it, yes. Indeed. Not there. I think it's in sportsmanlike be... conduct. What are y'all talking about? See, now they are awkward. They should have stared. I wasn't staring. Nah. Ivy and Thorn were. Oh. It's my job to stare and notice things. Hmm. Notice what? Exactly. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Try not to think of it. They are forming their own opinions. I mean, I, they, I mean, I wasn't I'm going to give that, them a Clint Captain. Eastwood. I'm going to give them a Clint Eastwood stare. Apostates. Think for it there with the church. Otherwise, building divides will not satisfy. Hmm. Dude, my spell book looking thick. I do love the amount of detail they put upon her. Almost as it's though flesh were standing in front of her. Yeah, and these maps are awesome. Yeah. All right, here you go, Therian fighting style for great swords. Tower of Steel and Light. While wielding a great sword and you are in an area with bright light, the following abilities are active. Whenever an enemy would attack you and miss, that enemy takes radiant damage equal to your proficiency modifier. Critical hits with your great sword heal yourself and all allies within 10 feet for an amount equal to your proficiency modifier. Very Easy. cool. Dude, awesome. Oh, conscious ally, excuse me, and all conscious. No. Uh -huh. Allies. No rule. Damn, rules. he had a nerf for you guys already. Yeah. Not a, it's not a nerf, it's what it's supposed to say. Oh, we got nerfed. Oh, oh my the god. The bad hammer's coming down. You guys were already just too strong. Yeah, you're just too um, broken, bro. The bromance is too strong. Yeah, what's too real? We. We we shook hands. What what bromance? What, what it's a bromance. I do mm -hmm. not understand it either. But if you do continue to react, they will likely feed into it. Thick, veiny forearms. Yep. All right. So like I said, after the light of Metheria has flowed through both of the members of the sword, and each person has been given their badges, the Weeping Knight will nod at Kylos. It seems that each of you have been chosen by your sect. And now, the time has come. You must stand before the proctor and receive your first assignment. Upon its completion, you shall officially ascend from aspirant to acolyte. Reto uh, report to the main cathedral center and go in the light. At once. Hmm. Let us be on our way. I walk up to the Weeping Knight and attempt to shake his hand, or reach out my hand to shake his hand. I'll Thank you it. for mm -hmm. everything. Oh. I will do everything I can for the sword and for Matharia. I shall hold you to that, young orc. I'll do the same thing for Kylo. Uh, Thank he... you. He will so reach out his hand a little more inaccurately. We'll find your hand and shake it. Mm -hmm. All right. When they go, uh, yeah, Thorn's like to with Kylos. Kylos, your words were resonant within me. Your perspective. I wish to see you again. Seek me out. Sir, which one said that? 
Ah yes, a classic oh, Toph conundrum. Mm -hmm. I love Toph so much. Yeah, Toph is great. Hey, look, I found it. Points randomly. That's just sound like <laughs> <laughs> oh Looks God, over, waves Toph. hand in front of face. Uh, just in case he forgot. Ooh. He'll just have to be like, what was it, Prince Eric in Chasing a Voice? Possibly, yeah. Shall <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, and now you must report in to the proctor in order to receive your first mission. Oh <sighs> boy! First mission time. First mission time. First mission time. Well, now you're making me nervous. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna rip their faces from their bodies, yeah. No. Well, that's a little... Jeez. It's a little aggressive. Watch your profanity. Mm -hmm. What could Matheria possibly mean by these words? Dang it. Technical difficulty? Yeah. It, it's just being evil. Okay, this mm -hmm. should work. Mm -hmm. See, apostates are up to no good. <laughs> I am well behaved today. Okay. And so, you report in to one of the proctors. Load this up again. Let me know when you're loaded. Yep. 99% and holding. Oh god, please. I'm loaded. I'm loaded. All right. It's a good thing I'm watching the stream. Whoop. Okay, as you guys walk inside, you will see that on a crate, a very uh, um, a middle-aged halfling will turn and look at you and will give you a tired but welcoming smile. And you see this individual. Oh. <sighs> Oh my oh, god. Becky. Holy shit. Looks dope. Oh, he's got a wooden leg. Oh my god. Call oh my no. All right. And as you walk in, he will smile and he will say, <laughs> Welcome, friends. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, let's see. You are um, a Spirit's uh, Ivy, Yoggle, Thorn. Mikhail, Ariel, and Gideon, yes? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let me guess. Yes, sir. They did not tell you that you would be squatted together, did they? No. No, sir. <laughs> no. Oh, that's, that's this bureaucracy for you. So effective and so slow. Well, don't worry. I'll be here to help you. Proctor Tellery Lanternbridge at your service, the senior. A pleasure to meet you. A pleasure's all mine, I assure you. Well, shall we get right to it then? Aye, sir. Yes. All right. He'll start to cycle through his books in front of him. Well, <clears throat> I, I don't want to put too much on you at once. So I'll start you out with something light. After all, we're just trying to get you your promotion. Now, a word to the wise as... Proctor Lanternbridge will lean forward conspiratorially. It's best 
that you try to make this as clean as possible. Don't worry about doing too much. You just need to complete the mission. The, the Church of Betheria, Our Holiness, is just trying to see that you can be trusted to work together. I know some of you might have dreams of glory and her light fighting demons, I'm sure. But please, understand that there are many evils in this world and not all of them are as obvious as you think. Unfortunately, one such evil is banditry. Perhaps a minor one compared to the great evils of demon kind and darkness. But I assure you, your fellow countrymen praying upon their neighbors in times of need is an evil that is insidious and it will destroy a country from the inside out. So my suggestion is very straightforward. I shall give you a simple task and then he will hand you a, he will hand out a piece of parchment. Who wants to take it? I'll take it. Okay. And he'll give it to you and then he'll say it. So it's quite simple. There have been rumors of banditry, thieves, and other such things within the southern district of the Pale City. Uh, specifically, I believe it is, and you'll look at his notes, it is um, uh, Silver Row, uh, one of the minor market districts. Your mission is simple. Head there, follow whatever clues you can find, find the brigands, and bring them to justice. You will receive requisition based off of if you bring them in alive or dead, but preferably alive so that they can be possibly redeemed. <sighs> difficulty added. It is no difficulty. It is easier to just kill them, but fine. We will bring them in alive if we can. In either True case, strength. in either case, if you can keep your philosophies at bay, all that I require is that you get the job done. It's pretty straightforward. Yes. So, bring them to justice and give the people there a reason to rest easy at night. Do this, and I will consider your task complete, and I shall myself give word to Her High Holiness that you are ready for ascension. Um, question. Yes. Uh, how, how do I remove this dang fangled thing as I pull at the collar on my neck so I can use the best use of my abilities. I'm afraid you can't. <laughs> mm. uh, You're stuck with it, eh? Thorn is <laughs> appalled at her question. Well then, if there's no other questions, I shall see that you are given proper requisition for your journey. No doubt you will face dangers. So, here you are. And he will pass each of you three anointed silver. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my god. We're this, big boys. I'm... This helps you with your equipment. Well, found a use for the Electrum slot. So, simply tell me what you need, and I shall see that you get it. It will be arranged and dropped in front of your barracks, and you can leave in the morning. He will pull out a piece of quill, dip it in his inkwell, and stands at the ready to write. Oh. We just tell him what we want? Yeah. So, I'll step up first. Uh, I would like a studded leather vest, two rapiers, mm -hmm. poisoner's kit. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. smithing kits, stone yes. working kit, mm -hmm. and a thieves tools. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, some personal rations. Mm -hmm. And that would be it. Thank you. All right. He'll take your requisition and he'll have it written down and put it to the side. Who is next? Go on, don't be shy. I'll walk forward. <clears throat> uh, what, what, what armor is available? Whatever you are trained to use. Uh, is chainmail available? 
Chain mail. Chain. Can you use chain mail? Do you know how to use it? Y yes. It's heavy on He's a fighter. Oh, right. I thought you were a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Common uh, misconception. Yeah, all right then. Paladins also have heavy armor. I'll, I'll take some chain mail, a great sword, uh, two battle axes if possible, and some rations. And a uh, stone cutter's kit and a smithing kit if available. Okay. Take all of that, trading it out. Boom, boom. The wham, bam, slam, jam. Are any goes? There we are. Thank you. Of course. I would appreciate a dagger, crossbow, longsword, studded mm -hmm. leather, mm -hmm. disguise kit to augment mm -hmm. my makeup. Yes. And week of rations mm -hmm. yes I anything see. else is that your just all right write all that up all right take the thank money thank you proctor who's next all right i require a alchemist kit. Uh, do I have a spell book at the moment? Yes, you have an okay. anointed spell book. Okay. Um, I will. The anointed, the me... anointed part of the spell book doesn't do anything special other than you are not murder killed. Ah, it's like my proof of. Yeah, it's it's basically please don't kill me. I'm the right kind. <laughs> yes. Got you. Yeah, that's if they don't um... notice your collar. Kind of hard to miss. Um, I also would like to require uh, ten rations, and is it possible for me to get my hands on some spell scrolls? I'm afraid not. Not till you've made acolyte. Ugh, damn. Uh, how about potions? Potions are available. Uh, I'll take two healing potions, please. All right. I'll hand that out. Thank you. Mikhail, are you ready? Yes. Please. I uh, would like a greatsword, a chainmail, head of the armor. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. How much holy water could you give me? Uh, I'm afraid that holy water is not able to be given out until you've become an acolyte. Uh, how unfortunate. Uh, then... Um, and I also have it like a camping kit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and the rations, please. Mm hmm. That would be all. Por favor, thank you, sir. Mm hmm. They nod. Yes? What would you like? I would like a long sword. A great club in the shape of a lion's paw, a tower shield, chainmail, and a priest kit, please. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all write all that down. I would also like two weeks worth of rations. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all write all that down. Uh, that should be all. Thank you so much. I have an out of character question. What's up? If someone who's not affiliated with the church looks at the anointed spell book, would they know it's anointed? Yes. See, the uh, um the idea is that basically all of your heraldries and everything you think mark you as members of the church, which is good yeah. when dealing with members of the church, which is bad when dealing with people that don't like the church or don't trust the church. It's a it goes both ways. Hmm. So keep that in mind when you know dealing with people that uh, might not like you very much. 
Why wouldn't they like the church? We're here to help them. Alrighty. Oh and boy. At, and as seeing that everyone is filled out, he'll nod and start signing off on the pieces of parchment. All right, this should see you uh, well done, and... Uh, could one of you please open the door for me? All right, as you open the door, Thorn, you're nearly mm -hmm. knocked over as an incredibly confident halfling woman comes strolling in. Oh, my God. Da, we got something to talk about. It's really important. Can't you see that I'm busy, Guinea? Please, let me finish with these aspirants. It's fine, but we have to talk right after. Fine, just please wait outside. Oh no. All right, Guinea will stroll we'll back outside. Door open again. Yep. Also, Guinea looks like this. Hmm. She's so cute. I wonder, oh, I wonder who she's related to. <laughs> Apologies for that. Uh, my daughter has always been... Well, reckless, I suppose. Now then. He'll then go through each and everybody's items to make sure they're correct. Is this everything you wanted? Uh, can I ask oh, for a... medical kit? Thank you. Very well, I'll add that. Yes. Can I get a, a spell book? A non-anointed one, perhaps? I'm afraid I cannot give that to you. Hmm. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I would also like some daggers. I they might add, prove of you use. Can add that to the list? If we're done, we should clear out so that they can talk. Oh, very well. Sort of indicates the... Apologies for my family affairs. I shall have all of your items brought to your barracks, and in the morning, your mission will officially begin, as that is when I will turn it in to the other proctors, and to the high proctor as well. Go forth and get yourself a nice night's rest. It's in my experience that any time that you face danger, it is best to do so fully rested. You'll see the proctor jump down from his crate and walk on his prosthetic leg over and will give you a warm but tired smile. Uh, if you could please let my daughter in on your way out, I would appreciate it. Yes, sir, that would do. May the light of Mithera be with you. And He's with you as well. I will walk out and hold the door while standing there for the rest of my squad mates to leave. Thank you for holding the door. You're very welcome. All right, and Guinea will kind of shove past and then will loudly say, Finally! We just we just got a letter from Telri. I, I, I'm worried. I'm worried, Da. I'm so worried. I close the door. I think that there's something going on. I'm going to listen. You want to listen in? Yes. One moment, please. Where did he put that? I think he put it in our DMs, didn't he? Let's take a look. Nope. Let's go see if it's in the group chat here. He forgot to submit the letter. No, he put it here somewhere. I just gotta remember where it is. I would not advise peeping in. We all die. We require information. And information is being told. I'm just. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> I'm not making it obvious. This is what you overhear. Hold on, can you guys still hear me, but it sounds far away? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. You overhear this. Da, he wrote to Mom directly. Just to his mother and not to us. Well, I'm sure he meant for us all to read it. 
No, it's really worrying. Look, okay, I'll read it to you. It says, Dear Mother, I am writing you from the city of Edgington in the Rays Eclipse. I apologize for my lack of content for the past two months, but I write to you now to assure you that I'm alive and well. Typical Tellery. Due to the events since I last wrote, I have left the sword and have been officially recognized by the shield. I feel it's a better fit, and I imagine you would be proud. While I know Father will likely be reading this over your shoulder, I hope you will not be too furious, as I know he truly hoped that one of his children would join the sword as he did. If you have contact with Guinea or Hill, please let them know I am well and love to hear of their goings on. I imagine they are traveling and also respective colony. Hope all is well. I hope to return one day. Love you always. Your son, Tellery. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, Guinea. Yeah, duh. Have you not heard? The chaplain in Edgington has been executed. And guess what? He's the representative of the shield. There's been rumors of ne'er-do-wells all within Edgington. Do you not understand? I think that you're overreacting, Guinea. We have no way of knowing if Tellery's directly involved. Da, can't you just check? You're a proctor in the Pale City. Surely you can ask about your own son. Look, if he wished to join the shield, then it is a shield issue. You need to take it up with your superiors, Guinea. For me to do it, it would be improper. Fine, Da. I'll do it. And with the huff, Giddy will turn and just kind of smash through the door. Not even caring that you guys seem a little closer than you should be. Ooh, family drama. All right. Ooh, Jerry Springer. Dun, dun. Let's go. All right. And do you guys Jerry, head back? Jerry, Jerry. Yes. Yes. All righty. I don't think she has anything to worry about. Oh, it's, it's all fine. She's just overreacting. Oh. Alright, let me take you guys to the barracks. You must gather your party before the we're venturing part. for <sighs> You must gather your party before venturing for <laughs> Let's see, there are more eyes in the party than any other sect. So that means you get the Rogie Boy Barracks. Yay. Yep. Boo. Boo. No, I want to be with warriors alike. Well, who knows? You, we, it might turn the tides later on. All right. And as the day sets, on the last day, when you or on the last days of your aspirancy, and indeed, the chance for you to become true acolytes to the glory of Metheria. Each of you, up to you if you want to follow Tellery's advice of getting a good night's bed rest. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting a real good rest. Bruh. I will pray before I go to sleep. And Thorn will join in with you, appreciating a little corner here. Ariel will simply hold her talisman and silently pray while sitting in bed. Good night, Thorn. We need to rest for the morning. Good night, Mikael. She replies fondly. You, uh, you want me to tuck you in, buddy? Yeah, please. All right, Help. there you go. 
<laughs> oh my god, tucked in by Daddy Kato himself. There what a go. blessing. Wait, there you go. I want to get tucked in. Yes. Oh my fucking uh, god. I does not love you as much as I do. Oh. I, get I get tucked in. I see the favoritism is strong. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> Yay, we all get tucked in. We all get head pats. Yay. Yay! I, I appreciate it. Now go the fuck to sleep. Sleep, yeah. Okay. And as the party lays down within their bunks to rest, the day's trials and revelations heavy on them, you each fall into a deep, dreamless sleep. And there is peace. Until... Until? Until? While the party sleeps. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> At least when you entered the dream, that would have been interesting. Well, I mean, One moment, we did. Please. <laughs> I don't like that. That doesn't sound good. That is. Oh, I love it. it sounds amazing, but suspicious. Within the light, there is darkness echoing around. For not all dreams are idle fantasies, not all fictions are untruth. Our tales are what we make of them. Nerd. We're getting banished to Brazil. Or Tampa, <laughs> Florida. Mm -hmm. You're not going to the Shadow Home? I'm sending you to Tampa, Florida. No, please. Man, I'm so excited. All right. As you sleep, perchance to dream, session no uh, what the hell uh, you did not we just forgot to have someone up for yeah it. <laughs> we didn't have someone on watch god damn it no we didn't oh we shouldn't need someone on watch we're in the middle of the fucking true church why did bro pull up on me first i don't like that all right favoritism and I'm like the less that thing of everybody. was a great first session. Good job, everybody. Hell yeah. Yay. So much fun. Hell yeah. Very mm -hmm, sick, mm -hmm. incredibly nasty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, Pogs. Really Pogs. I really enjoy it. But now fan art time? Fan art. Yes. Oh, now's the time for fan art. Ooh. Fan art, fan art. Ooh. I wanted fan art. Uh, I should have. Damn it. I was Can going to cast this? my familiar 
before I went Can to sleep. Can we go for one more hour, mm -hmm. Mr. No! Dick? Stop! Mm -hmm. No, because I have work. No! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, it's only 8 o'clock. No, doing? I have work. No! <laughs> Alright, let's look at fan art. What do we got? Uh, oh, God. Why is there so much before we even start? At 153? <laughs> okay. Yeah, is they were pretty mm -hmm. been waiting. I, I I told you she was a professional simp. I am a professional simp. I had this art okay. lined up for weeks. Oh my No, not the fuck god damn you close. Oh yeah. Alright, first up we've got is this garbage. More garbage. Uh, wow, someone someone drew that and you're gonna call it garbage. Thank you mm -hmm. for draw. Oh, this is just okay. It's rainbow. It's pretty mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, eyeliner. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Her eyeshadow, excuse me. All right mm -hmm. Yeah, huh. yeah, <laughs> this one's pretty good That was avoidant mm -hmm. Yeah This one's pretty good, too. I like this. It's one. so sick. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I vote to use that for the thumbnail on you. Mm -hmm. That is, that is. Oh, the Arcadum, I left a Easter egg in there for you. What, in this? In the book. In the book in that picture. Was it Bustin? No. Is it a frog? No. That... Yes. Oh. And? It's a frog with moisture levels. <laughs> and the dreaming. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Got the dream and the moist path. Mm -hmm. Look at the apostates. So cute. Today I was assigned a group of interesting persons, and the more I am around, the more I realize. Oh, okay. Oh my god, why is he eating her? His head? <laughs> eating him. Why is everyone mean to Gideon? <laughs> it's not even Gideon. Gideon's just That's me, on Kyle. the ground. Gideon's one on the ground. This is the ground. this is a load of barnacles. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> me Good when enough. watching the session. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that did happen a lot. That did happen a lot. Yes, there was a lot. <laughs> this is a very bright light for sure. I'm glad I had my overhead light. It's extra edgy art. Yes. Oh my god! Dude, I want like the full body. With that light treatment, just saying. Because I love the blue contrast, it just pops. Like I heard Mordecai was an NPC. Okay. <laughs> oh. You gotta accept oh the theory, dude. God, that is so good. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so that is good. that's. <laughs> Quick, draw me a duck. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, coming in the clutch. Oh my god, <laughs> Colossus. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do? No. Yes. Oh. Why does she have fuck teeth? No. <laughs> that was it can't no. Claws. Okay, why does she have claws? Man. Yeah, yeah, very good. I don't think I've seen. I mean, the Deep book teeth, I'm not even gonna get into with the claws. Why the claws? <laughs> Your pants Man. are overrated. And listen, I have the highest mobility out of anyone here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not well, restricted by my clothing. that was a fantastic session. 100% yes. very cool. We, we should do it again tomorrow. Wasted. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Yay! Not the week Bye. after. Bye. 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 Oh, and did is there any subs? Let's see. I think I got some subs today. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think so. Uh, yeah, that was yesterday. Chaotic Nugget Crunch, thanks for the 13 months. Siv Sivamet. Oh shit. What up, meme oh, man? Man. man? Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Ooh. Zalandris, thanks for the prime. Stiff Bodies, thanks for the 23 months. You're welcome. And uh, Miss Necro, thanks for the gifted sub. Yeah, you're the welcome. Dark Sermon would be on the 15th because of the conflict on the 8th, maybe. We'll see. Oh, we're not. Wait, what? What's happening no. on the eighth? We haven't even discussed that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss. We'll, it. We'll, Take people, care. A normal time is next week, same time, but some have to let people know. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty. Yeah. Bye-bye, chat room. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.